This is where we started from. This is where we are now. Bonjour everybody. Welcome back to my studio. Today we are going to create a film look from scratch right there in DaVinci Resolve. It's going to be pretty cool. Let's dive in. Today I'm working with this clip shot on red. We're going to create a film look with the tools that are available to us right there in DaVinci Resolve for free. And um, you'll see that you can come up with some pretty interesting looks right there. So what I can say in the ballpark is that my shot seems to be pretty well exposed. I don't really need to lower exposure or increase it. We're going to see how it looks from there. This is the log image and this is the Rec 709 conversion and I am converting to Rec 709 using a color space transform, transforming from DaVinci white gamut Vinci Intermediate to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4 using these exact settings. And before that node, all right, so we are going to create the look in the log space, right? Because when I deactivate this node, I'm in log, okay? And my operations are going to happen right here. Let's go into our open effects and search for film look creator and i'm going to drag that in so i have a look in place here by default but i want to create a look from scratch let's go in our presets and go clean slate this is going to ensure that when i turn on the film look creator nothing happens to our image let's work on our contrast first because this is what our eyes are the most sensitive to Okay, they are more sensitive to contrast than they are to color. So let's push our contrast slider right there. So that's before, that's after. Before, after. Visually, I think that our shadows are a little bit too crunchy. So I'm going to use the fade slider right there. To compress the shadows a little bit all right before after before after maybe i'll increase my contrast some more yeah okay before after increasing my fade a little bit playing with that yeah i think our contrast looks pretty cool i'm going to lower my highlight slider in an attempt to control that highlight right there in the helmet reflection. So I wanna try and pull that down and you see my parade compressing here and creating a nicer roll off for my highlight. So right there, I'm going to compress that, okay? Before, after, cool. I think we might get a better feel for or a shot with um, a bit more of a balanced image. So now we can probably take advantage from the tint slider right there because our image is leaning towards that magenta quadrant. And if we inject a little bit of green with our tint slider, well, we can reach a pretty interesting territory for sure. So that's before. That is after, okay? So we have going on contrast, highlights, fade, and tint. And already, well, we have something quite solid in place. Now, one of the really cool ingredients of the Film Look Creator is the Film Look tab right there and the Film Look Blend slider. Before I continue on with today's video, I have a small favor to ask you guys. Most of you who regularly watch the content here are not subscribed yet to the channel. It would massively help and support it if you could please take a minute to pause the video and subscribe, especially if you're enjoying the content that I'm uh, doing here. It would massively help. Thank you guys. Now let's go on with the video. Now if I push for that film look blend slider, it's going to add a pretty interesting 
3D component to our look, which means that it's going to affect the colors of our image. It's going to affect, for example, you see on her sleeve, the red right there here. When I push for that film look blend and when I have this cinematic look here, well, it's raining in that saturated red and it's not touching much the skin. It's like it's mostly affecting my, my most saturated colors, okay? Let's play with those presets. We've got cinematic, Rochester, Akasaka, Elated, Vintage. And um, I think I like either Akasaka or Rochester the most for today's look. Yeah, maybe let's go for Akasaka, actually. I like it. If I pull back on that slider, what is driving the look here is just basically contrast with our beautiful S-curve and tint. But if I add that film look component, well, there is the missing piece of the puzzle, basically, that is going to affect color in a nice, filmy way. I don't really have to go all the way up, right? I can blend it. So perhaps I can go about 70% on that look before, after. Now I can play with that bleach bypass slider in order to add a bit more crunch to my image and elevate that tension feel in my scene before, after. And now regarding saturation, it's up to you. You can either add some more sat, but I think we're pretty well dialed in right there. Why not perhaps driving this down a little bit? Yeah, something like that. Let's play with our split tone. I'm gonna click enable split tone and let's increase the amount and see what happens. Okay, I don't really like my neutrals to be affected when you look at, for example, the highlight in the helmet. When I hit protect neutrals, you see that it's cleaning up a little bit, right? So I wanna select protect neutrals, just add a splash of split tone and the pivot, I'm going to drive it a bit up so that the cool component of the split tone is a bit more predominant. Let's add a bit of a vignette to further shape the contours of our frame. Just a splash of it before, after. I don't want to add elation, but if you want to add some elation, you can play with that, all right? What I want to add now is a bit of grain. So let's enable grain. That 35 millimeter preset looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with what we've created here. If I disable the look, this is where we started from. This is where we are now. Before, after. Pretty cool. Let's play it in full screen. Try and remember, before you use a slider, don't use it because it's there. Try and uh, develop a feel for, is it going to help the project or not? If not, well, better not use it, all right? Maybe not every project deserves halation or grain, for example, bloom or a lot of contrast or a lot of set or even split tone, push to the max or something. Try and think about these um, ideas before you dial something in. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like, comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. Perhaps you can suggest me future topics you would like me to cover. Subscribe to the channel not to miss the future videos I'm going to make. And um, I will see you in the next one. Salut, prenez soin de vous.